Hello friends, I welcome you on Baiju's exam prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. So guys, in this session, I'm going to discuss with you what is the procedure for MTech admission for IIT Bombay for 2023 and 2024 academic year. Friends, in this session, I will be discussing all the important dates, all the important procedures and all the important requisite data which you require to completely fill your MTech admission for IIT Bombay. So all the candidates just quickly hit the like button and share this session with your friends and colleagues so that more and more people are going to be benefited. Before I start the session, I want to show you the authentic official website for IIT Bombay for procedure for MTech and PhD admissions. So let us go to the website and then we will come back and we will discuss all the important details which I have filtered out from the detailed notification for MTech and PhD admissions for IIT Bombay 2023 and 2024 academic year. So let's start. First of all, I will show you the official website. You have to go to the IIT Bombay official website for MTech and PhD admissions for 2023 and 2024. You will be landing on this page you can see here. It is captioned as admission for the academic year 2023 and 2024. This is for the postgraduate programs, MTech, MTech plus PhD, dual degree, MDES, MPhil, MBA, so many programs are there and then you have the research program that is PhD. For all these respective details, you have to go to the important uh, notifications which you will find once you click a particular program. I have filtered the information from these uh, notifications and that is what I am going to discuss in this particular session. Let us go back to our presentation. Before we start the session, some of you may be joining me for the first time. So there is a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ashutosh. As you can see on the screen, I have more than 12 years of teaching experience. I completed my MTech from IIT BHU in 2010. I have written a couple of books. And I deal with so many subjects in electrical engineering apart from some of the non-technical subjects. Now let us see first what are the important dates which you have to keep in your mind because you should not miss any of these important dates. If I talk about the advertisement, the advertisement was available on the IIT website on 20th of March. The beginning of the online application process date is 24th of March. So 24th of March that is uh, I think it is Friday, okay. The coming Friday is going to be the date when the online application process is going to be started. Now, most important is the last date for the submission of completed application form. This is 17th of April, but I would suggest you not to wait for the last date because most of the time when the traffic is too large, the website may be a little heavy and you will not be able to complete your application form if you don't do it within the stipulated time. Now to display the list of the candidates called for the further process that may be a written test or interview as per the schedule that is going to be reflected on 27th of April on the official website of IIT Bombay. For direct admission offers for different programs, it is going to be as per the COAP schedule. You must be aware about the procedure of COAP. For the dates of the written test or the interview on the basis of the GATE score, this is only for TA and TAP category. If you go to the total notification, then you will understand all these acronyms. For all these details, you have to click to the concerned academic unit in the following link. This is the link is given for iitbombay.ac.in. You can follow this link. Then the dates for the written test and the interview for other categories apart from those candidates. Uh, for TA and TAP category, that is TAP, research assistantship and so many other programs. Again, you can follow it with this link, which is mentioned the respective program. Now, the declaration of the result for the test and the interview, this is going to be done as per the COAP schedule and you can see the time window for different programs on the COAP website. Then for IIT Bombay different categories, the date for the first offer is 13th of June. So the 13th of June, the first offer is going to be declared. Second offer if required, then it is going to be on 23rd of June. 
थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ऑफर रेस्पेक्टिवली इफ रिक्वायर्ड देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई एंड फोर्टीन ऑफ जुलाई फॉर स्पॉट एडमिशन इफ रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दीज कैटेगरी यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस लिंक विच इज मैं इन द रेस्पेक्टिव कैटेगरी नाउ फॉर द रिपोर्टिंग वंस यू हैव कंप्लीटेड द प्रोसेस एंड यू आर फाइनली इन finally uh, you can say selected for a respective program in iit bombay then when you have to report the orientation sorry the reporting is going to be on 19th of july on the same day there will be the orientation all this is tentative that is 19th of july the registration process will be completed on 20th of july and the verification of documents by the concerned academic units this is also going to be conducted on the same day that is 20th of july the timing is also mentioned which you can follow if you are finally getting into the iit bombay let us go to some more important updates the results will be uploaded or declared on the common offer acceptance portal for ta tap ra and rap category candidates need to log in on coap website to see the offers and choose one of the option given the result of the written test or the interview for these categories will be declared on the iit website the written test and or interview for mtech phd or the dual degree program will be declared on the iit website and this is the link for the respective category now there are some more important guidelines which you must keep in your mind while you are applying for the mtech program the online application form and information brochure including the admission schedule along with the important date all this is going to be available on the official website of iit bombay for the mtech or the phd admissions it is already mentioned here you are required to submit the application online only there is no need to submit the download form okay after filling the form you are advised to take a print out of your application and keep the same for the future record because once you will be finally going to report in the iit bombay then you may require this application form the application fees as mentioned for the women candidates it is 150 for sc st persons with disability categories it is 150 and for all other categories it is 300 rupees the fee to be paid by the sbi internet banking or the online payment system and you do not have to submit the hard copy of the application it means at this stage when you are applying for the uh, admission you need not to submit the hard copy of the application form only the online form you have to submit most important part is application fee is non refundable so you have to keep this in your mind please note that you can submit only one application you don't need to submit multiple applications within one application there are some choices what are the choices you can apply for more than one program it means more than one program you can apply but within the same application no need to duplicate your application and you can select up to 10 preferences if a discipline has multiple specialization each specialization is going to be counted as one option for example one particular discipline is available in different specialization and you want to apply for it then each one of this is going to be counted as one preference to so total 10 preferences up to 10 preferences you can select the obc candidates may note that the limit of annual income is rupees 8 lakhs for determining the creamy layer criteria so those candidates which may fall in this category you have to abide by this uh, condition the obc non creamy certificate issued for the financial year 2022 and 23 by the competent authority in the prescribed format must be uploaded in the online application form and submitted at the time of admission jab aap finally report karenge jab apna admission lene ke liye to aapko hard copy bhi submit karni padegi obc non creamy layer certificate ki similarly the economically weaker section candidates may note that the limit of annual income is again 8 lakhs per annum which is mentioned here for determining the eligibility for the benefit under economically weaker section reservation the ews certificate issued by the competent authority in the prescribed format must be uploaded in the online application form and submitted at the time of admission persons with disability candidates will be given extra time during the written test or the interview as per the government of india rule on request by the candidate such a request 
need to be addressed to the head of the concerned department or academic unit through an email or hard copy well in advance. So if you belong to this category, you have to intimate the respective unit or the department where you are going to apply for the admission process so that you can get some extra time. You must upload the following documents while submitting the MTech applications. So you can cross check it now. For example, a scanned version of the photograph, a scanned version of the signature, mark sheet of last semester, okay, mark sheet of last semester to be submitted or the consolidated mark sheet of the qualifying degree. Exam pending result awaited candidates have to upload their latest. If your result is awaited, if your exam is pending, then you have to upload their latest or previous semester mark sheet. You have to upload the caste certificate for OBC non creamy layer, SCST if applicable, and affidavit for having applied in case the certificate is not yet received. So if you don't have the uh, certificate, then no need to worry because it will take some time to get the certificate. By the time you can submit one affidavit with that regard. Economically weaker section candidates have to submit their certificate. Similarly, the PW candidates have to submit their certificate if applicable and the statement of purpose if it is applicable. Now the candidates if called for the written test of the interview should show or bring with them. Now these are the important documents which you have to keep if you are finally going to report at the IIT Bombay. That is which are called for written test of the interview. First is photo ID card, hard copy of the application submitted. So you must keep the uh, some copies, some multiple copies, three, four copies you keep with you so that whenever it is required you can produce it. Final year thesis or the dissertation, report, publication, copy of certificate, mark sheet. Candidates having degree from foreign universities should submit equivalence certificate from Association of Indian Universities, New Delhi for qualifying exam and proof of having first class or 60% as per the criteria or 55% for SCST PWD marks or equivalent in qualifying examination. The seats are reserved for economically weaker section or other backward class non creamy layer candidates, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and person with benchmark disability categories as per the government of India rules. Now the contact details for the MTech or MTech plus PhD category is this pgadm at the rate iatb.ac.in. Now for the PhD candidates it is phd underscore unit 5 iatbombay.ac.in. Students must submit self-attested copies of his or her qualifying degree or certificates and the final transcripts on or before 31st of August 2023. So this is mandatory. If you are called for the written test or the interview, you must submit all these documents and the last date is 31st of August 2023. The eligibility for MTech or MTech plus PhD dual degree programs. The general eligibility for MTech program in all academic units, departments, centers, school, interdisciplinary groups, cross departmental programs. The qualifying degree is BE, BTech or BSc. Bachelor of Architecture, Bachelor of Planning, MSc, MCA, MBBS Medicine, BDS Dental, B Pharma, B, BVSC, BPTH, BOTH, so many categories. Duration of four years or more recognized equivalent to BE or BTEC earned through associate membership examination conducted by the recognized professional bodies like Institution of Engineers, India, Institute of Chemical Engineers, Aeronautical Society of India, Institute of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers, Indian Institute of Metals, etc. Approved by Ministry of, uh, I think it is Environment, MOE, AI. CTE or Ministry of Education, sorry it is Ministry of Education, AICTE, UGC or UPSC. In simple words, your qualifying degree is the basic graduation, okay. Now what are the marks of the CGP or CPI in qualifying degree? Now for general EWS OBC non creamy layer category, it should be a minimum of 60% marks in aggregate or a first class as specified by the university or 
a minimum cumulative grade point average cumulative performance index of 6 on the scale of 10 okay on the scale of 10 or an equivalent of 6 on other risk corresponding proportional requirements when the scales are other than 10. For SCST and PWD category, a minimum of 55% marks in aggregate or a minimum of cumulative grade point average or cumulative performance index of 5.5 on the scale of 10 or an equivalent of 5.5 on other corresponding proportional requirements when the scales are other than 10. So this is all about the MTech admission for IIT Bombay. I wish you all, all the best from the team Baiju's. Like, subscribe and share this session so that more and more people are going to be benefited. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay connected.